All right, all right, man. Did y'all just see what just happened? I'm uploading this before I even do the live stream. And the reason being, we got to talk about a separate subject that I don't want to meander on on the live stream. The, the Jamaican quartet at the U-20 level is going to have, this is the level of talent that we were seeing uh, to the extent in the USA at one point. I, don't, I know they didn't separate from the younger ages to the older ages like that, but sometimes you're on a nation. Think about Team Kenya for the steeplechase. Think about Team Kenya for the 5Ks, 10Ks, marathon. You just leave people behind. We're getting to the point where we're seeing Jamaica. Now it's not just two and now three athletes, not four, but we got a potential eight athletes that could represent Team Jamaica and still do pretty well. But before I get into that, don't forget, I'm your host, Nick. And you're now listening to Head and Shoulders ATR, where we cover athletes, performances, and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. Always, always stay blessed. As always, be rich. And remember, we're going to be working to be the number one on this bad boy here. So look, here's Team Jamaica right here. A 42.59. 42.59 on a wet track. Now, remember... This has some altitude boost. This is faster, and I say that in quotes, this is faster than what they did in Nairobi, which was at a higher 2,200 or so, or 2,400 extra meters on top of this. So when somebody says, oh, altitude has been set out here, 1,000 meters above, okay, this is 2,400 meters below Nairobi, and it's a 42.59. This is good enough to beat many, many nations in the world in the senior level. Forget about the U-20. Think about the seniors that are struggling to break 43 seconds. The ones that have struggled to get 42.9, 42.8. This is a 42.59 on a wet track. Just imagine if it wasn't uh, wet and some of their speed wasn't uh, nerfed by that. And you can see how some of the speed was nerfed because look at what happened in the U-2200. Zero wind, right? No no tailwind. And we saw, what, a 22.6X. 22.6 plus. In the, the women's 200 by Brianna Liston. Now, we are aware that Liston could run a lot faster. But look, Best performances and everything like that don't always. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Okay, the haters are going to say whatever. But this is what this means now. Because of all the talent, I can see some of the athletes wanting to stay in the collegiate circuit if that's where they choose to go. They stay at the collegiate circuit so that they can get some wins at NCAAs. Feel the championship feel. Because, look, this is getting kind of tough. It's either that or you keep trying and you get relegated to relays. And if you even can get on a relay, what do you do at this level? That's what I ask everybody here. What do you do? Because somebody said they predict that they see Jamaican athletes going to represent other nations. But what do you do at this point when when they start to grow and they get faster? What's going to happen? Okay, cool. Uh, Hill doing the uh, hurdles. Okay, cool. She's pretty safe. That means she could be a good spot if they need to, to pull her over from the 100 meter hurdles on the four by one. We know that right now. She's done it now. But what about the other athletes that are there? The Clayton twins, Cole, and even Liston, right? Now going against Williams, Nelson. Let's just assume Shelly Ann Frazier Price, she's not going to be there forever. I'm 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 even counting out Shelly Ann Fraser Price being there. Elaine Thompson here. I don't know how the longevity for Sharika Jackson, but let's just leave them in there too. What is happening? They shouldn't feel bad about themselves. It's gonna it's very competitive in Jamaica, and this is I think the highest talent pool I think we've seen out of Jamaica in the world. In one nation right here for Jamaica. Now, the United States has seen this uh, throughout history in different uh, periods of time. Jamaica 
Have you? Can you guys point to another time where you got a potential eight athletes that could very well vie for the same points? Now, not all eight of them have the same ability to win or could win an individual. But if they fall off on a given day, just like what happens in the United States, maybe somebody else makes it that should have otherwise made it. And then boom. Okay. Maybe somebody else makes it. And then they're like, man, this person would have won. Just like the controversy, which really wasn't, about Brianna Williams starting in the final versus Kimba Nelson. I mean, Nelson earned the spot. She literally finished fourth. Right? She literally finished fourth. She finished better than Brianna uh, Williams. So, of course, she's more likely going to run in the final. Of course, she's most likely going to do that. So, whether that's what they decide to do or whatever that's up to them what they wanted to do but that's an argument to be made should have been brianna williams i think even she felt it when she dropped that uh image on her own uh instagram and then deleted it very shortly after so all of this to say i don't think these athletes should feel too bad if they're not making teams in the future we already gotta factor this part in now what is going to be the differentiating factor. The Clayton's going over to train with uh, a Francis or a Shelly Ann Fraser Price or something like that. Is that going to be the differentiating f factor? Like Nelson going over, I think, into the uh, Fraser Price camp. Now, the thing with Fraser Price, she doesn't have the 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 history yet. Francis, we know somebody goes over there, they're going to be. They go, they go to MVP, and they're going to blow the bricks off of people. Shelly Ann Fraser Price's group is very new. We have yet to see if it only works for her or if it also works for other people. We haven't, we don't have the history of that just yet. All right? So that's what we got to factor in here. Elaine Thompson Hero with her husband. Will that work? We're going to see the evidence next year or maybe the next Olympics because it's still kind of falling in line with Elaine Thompson Hero performing much better in the Olympic years than she does at every other year in between. That's still following and holding through true. Except this year, she got medals behind her, which is an upgrade off of the past with that, with the exception of that uh, her first world championships where she got silver to Daphne Skippers. Otherwise, she hasn't been performing up to uh, the same level as we would expect her to do. Now, what do you guys think is going to happen here? What do you guys think is going to happen mentally to these young ladies here that are in this picture and anybody else that comes uh, right there? It's going to be a slug fest. Talk about UFC knockout. Talk about boxing knockout ring. That's what you're going to see from Team Jamaica is what I am predicting. It's going to be a lot of emotions flying through, a lot of consolations, a lot of pats on the back. A lot of a lot of all of those things that are going to go down in Jamaica over the next decade or so. It's going to be tough to make it out of the team. It's going to be just the same way as I see some USA athletes and they don't make it out. And it's at any given day, especially in that loaded 200, where if you ran that race 10 times, you could probably get a, a different winner uh, about 30 percent of the time. 40% of the time. And you get different people to qualify, definitely at least one person almost every single time. At least one of those people could have been different every single time. So, in conclusion, Team Jamaica is spoiled for choice now. Team Jamaica has a lot of things going for the nation on the women's side. We're going to see what happens on the men's side. But on the women's side, at this current period of time, I called it before, it's the golden age of uh, female track and field. And I mean that generally speaking. But then it's also a micro golden age for Jamaica for women's track and field. Because women's track and field, they're making leaps and bounds. It stagnated with their records for a very, very long time. And now records are being broken. But forget about the records for a second. Imagine making the team. Now that we see this 42-59, now that we know that they can compete with the seniors, the next question is, 
Who's going to be running the Pan American Games that have to be a standout there? Who's going to have to be the standout at the Commonwealth Games? Who's going to have to be the standout at the lesser championships? And it doesn't take away from any of them. That's why I tell uh, you guys here on this channel, head and shoulders above the rest, in my take, would be like that top 30 spot that's on that world ranking list. Because sometimes you just, you just don't have it because your nation is over-talented or has more of the talent than other nations. So in this case, Jamaica being now the, quote, over-talented team or having so much talent that's spoiled for choice, you have athletes that are head and shoulders above the rest here, and they're not going to be featured at all. Some of these athletes are going to have to stay home. Some of them are going to be relegated to the prelims of the four by 100 meter relay, which means they get a medal. Even, uh, and final thing here, even when I pointed out to some of you all, the, the athletes that ran in the prelims so that Usain Bolt didn't have to run in the prelims in the four by one. Remember, I brought up the names and some of the, the, the people instantly reacted. Who is that? That guy is a nobody or whatever. And I'm like, no, this guy's really good. He just, unfortunately, wasn't good enough to make finals like that or the open 100. So he ran on the four by one, but he's not a bad athlete. Those athletes are still good too. So when we're in a sport that only cherishes the winner or in the cases of, you know, sweeps, you go on one, two, three, or just in general, the top three medal count, sometimes it gets a race that people make finals. People make the open team. And then people were, the nation was so talented that the ones that had to stay home, they had, they are very, very valuable as well to the nation. So catch you all on the next one. Peace and much love.